Hi, everyone. It's Matt from The Pen Habit, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's episode is going to be part two in our How to Adjust Your Fountain Pen mini series, and I'm going to be talking about how to adjust your pen uh, and how to fix the alignment of your pen. Now, as I mentioned in my earlier videos, everything I show you how to do in, in this video mini series could potentially uh, void the warranty on your pen and if done, if done improperly or if done too vigorously, could damage your pen. So if you're new to this, please make sure that you are practicing on an inexpensive pen that you're not going to be heartbroken if you, you damage irreparably, or just be prepared that you might have to send it off to someone to get it repaired uh, if, you, if you go too far. Uh, I do not take any responsibility for damage you do to your pens by following the instructions I, I put in this video. So. Now that I have uh, put that disclaimer out there, let's talk about alignment. So in my last video, I talked about how to do ink flow, how to fix the ink flow and, and fix that channel of ink from the breather hole all the way up to the tip of the nib. Uh, I've done that on this pen, on this Duke 901. And now that I've, I've adjusted the ink flow, it's really thrown the alignment out of whack. So I want to show you what that looks like now. Um, and and then show you how I go about adjusting it. Okay, so we're back here at the microscope camera, and you can see if you look at the tines, I'm going to tilt it forward just a little bit here. They're pretty out of alignment. It's not so great. So you can see that the one here on your right is higher than the one on the left. I'm going to tilt it forward now. You can get a better view of that. So what I want to do, first things first, is let's look at the, the alignment of the feed to the nib. So if you look here, actually, let's go back to the microscope camera. So if you look here at the microscope camera, so far the feed and the nib seem fairly well aligned. You want to look at the breather hole and see if you can tell if the slit on the back side of the feed is lined up with the slit of the nib. And they're a little off. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just rotate the nib around. What I'm doing is just rotating the nib around slightly to make sure that that's lined up as much as possible. So if I go back and look, it's much closer. You can actually see the ink in there. It's pretty nifty. Okay, so now that that's lined up, now we have to take care of the alignment on the tip of the nib. So the way to do this, normally I don't do this with a microscope camera. I do it with my loop. And I'll put my loop on. And actually what I'll do is I'll hold the pen so the nib is upside down. And I, I, I hold it at about a 45 degree angle. Um, and I just take a look at the way it looks. Now the reason why I do that, I'm going to go back over to my overhead camera here and show you kind of a side profile of the nib. So if this is the top of the nib here, there's a little bit of tipping material. And then there's a kind of a flat surface like that. Now, I'm, I'm exaggerating the flatness of that surface, but that right there is the writing surface. And it's usually at about a 45 to a 60 degree angle. So when you're holding the pen, that's the surface that's actually hitting the paper. And if that's the surface that's out of alignment, that's where you're going to get the great majority of your scratchiness. So if you, you look here, I'm going to hold this upside down and show you what I saw in my loop as best I can here on this camera. You'll notice the one on the right is closer to the feed than the one on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my thumbnail and put some pressure on the tip of the feed to try to get it to line up. And let's see how that did. Looks like I actually went too far the other way. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of bendy bend. Getting closer. You want to go slow here. Don't use pliers for this. Please do not use pliers for this. <laughs> As I mentioned in my last video, you can really do some damage if you use pliers for this. So you see that the alignment is much closer than it used to be. Much, much closer. So I'm just going to push a little bit more. 
We're getting there, getting closer. So that's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to actually do a 360 look around. And normally I do this in my loop. But you can see the flat surface there on the tip of the nib. We've maintained a lot of that open ink channel. So that's looking pretty good. The flat surface is fairly well aligned now. So that's looking pretty good. So let's see how it writes. I think that's closer to what we're looking for here. So now if I nice and smooth in both directions that way, we'll do up, very smooth there. A good 85% of the scratchiness is gone from that going, going from right to left. Let's do our diagonals. And going this way. Now there's a little bit of scratchiness there. That's what I meant to do. So it's still a little bit of scratchiness going down like this. So let's just take one more look under the, under the microscope here. See what we've got. Okay, so look at it this way. See, there's still just that little bit. Notice that the right tine is a little bit higher than the left tine. So let me just go in and I always like to press down when I'm adjusting. I don't like to pull up unless I don't have another option. Sorry, it's hard to keep this in focus. It's got such a narrow depth of field. So let's uh, see how that's going. Still not quite there. Um, so I might just do a little bit of a pull up here on the one tine. See if I get that closer. Okay, pull it back until it's in focus. That's looking a little bit better. Maybe just one more minor adjustment here. And see, this is the key. You have to go slow, do little tiny adjustments, check them, little tiny adjustments. I'm not going to, I'm just going to go back to doing it here in the loop because this is quicker than trying to get it in focus on the microscope camera. Um, Okay. And it's really important that you do this before you start dealing with the polishing of the nib tip. The reason being that a lot of a lot of the problems with scratchiness on nibs really has to do with the the alignment and not with the polish on the nib. So improved ink flow, it's not as scratchy. Try it back this way. Much, 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 much better. So, uh, and, and just to kind of give you an overhead view here, let me do a little more of my terrible drawing here. Let's say this is the tip of the nib. And there's the nib slit. There's the nib slit there. And there is the tip of the nib. And then it comes out like this. And I apologize because I am terrible at drawing. And it comes all the way down to the breather hole down here. And this just looks like, I don't know, this looks terrible. <laughs> but occasionally, what, what the problem will be is that if the nibs are out of, if the tines are out of alignment, it's this inner sharp wall of the nib that is, is problematic. Because if the tines are out of alignment, the way they make the nib is they solder on the iridium, iridium tip, and then they take a very thin saw and chop down the middle of the iridium tip to the breather hole. The problem with that is now you've got very sharp edges on the inside of the tines. Um, and so if, if the tines are out of alignment, it's that sharp edge that was cut by the saw that might be digging into the paper causing you some of those problems. So if you're running into issues with really scratchiness, check the alignment first. Uh, well, 
check the alignment after you've gotten the ink flow to where you want it. So that's basically how I deal with alignment on pens. As, let me repeat one more time uh, from personal experience. Please, 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 please do not use pliers in doing this. <laughs> you will regret it. I almost promise you. So that's how I deal with alignment. It's a fairly minor process, this the alignment thing, but you want to go slow, make sure that you get it in alignment, and test often along the way. So that is how I do alignment. In the next video, I'll show you how I go about polishing a nib and why that's important. So if you have questions, comments, different ways uh, that you do of aligning your nibs, please head over to penhabit.com and put them there, and we will see you here next time on The Pen Habit. Thank you very much for watching.